So I'm going to talk to you today about a must-have addition to your air conditioning system at home. This is a great little tool that can be found online. It can be found on eBay under username Fabulous Finds 354. And um, what it does, it allows you to clean the drain line out by hooking a garden hose up to your condensate line and your air conditioning. If you use a vacuum to suck it out, it doesn't get everything out further down the line. It may work to unclog it, but it doesn't keep it nearly as clean and clear as this. Now, the reason why you need this tool is because if you were to regularly just hook a hose or put pressure here, it would blow back and up into the unit. So what this does, it allows you to shut off water from going back into the unit and then hook a hose to this and blast with the standard, probably 50 to 60 PSI city water pressure, all of the junk out of your drain line. If you install this tool, you will save all kinds of calls to the air conditioning company to clean your drain line. And if you flush this out, like every six months, you'll never have a, a clogged drain line ever again, in my opinion, because at least that's we've been my uh, luck with it. There's also a shutoff valve right here, so that when the it's when you're not don't have the hose to it, it's shut off to you know so that no air gets into it that way. Okay, first I'm going to show you how it works. So. I've already hooked the hose up to this end because I needed two hands to do that. I'm holding the video recorder here with another, my free hand. Well, you hook the hose up onto this and then you'll open up this valve right here to allow the water to go through. And then this valve has to be turned off to stop water from flowing back into the unit. So now we're ready to go and turn the hose on. So there's the hose hooked up. Here's the drain line, and we're gonna turn it on right now. Watch what comes out. Wow. Look at all that stuff that was in that drain line. And this unit was working just fine. It'll work much better now. So I'll let it run for a few minutes. You can see there's still a little bit of discoloration in the water. It's cleaning up now. And over here at the unit, nothing's dripping. Everything's clean. No issues there. And now I'm gonna show you what to do to turn it off. So. I'm going to turn the hose off. And now to put it back into regular mode again, we turn the hose connection off, turn the drain line there on, and then I'll try to do this with one hand, but I don't think I can. Oh, there we go. And there we are. Drain line is clear. And the unit is back to normal functionality. So all you need for installation is a razor knife, marking pencil, something to cut the condensate line with. This is a PVC cutter got from Home Depot. And then some just some PVC glue. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to install it right now. So what we're going to do, if your line has insulation on it, which I'm sure that it does if it's a newer system, we're going to just slice the insulation with a sharp razor knife so that we can get to the PVC condensate line. Now you want to make sure that your unit is off and it's been off for probably just about three or four minutes so that it's not full of water. So I'm going to cut this back here. I'm going to cut this back here. Now it's also important to note that you're going to want to make sure that you allow a little bit of room between any joints or elbows and fittings. I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that the blue shutoff valve here is closest to the unit because that's what we want to shut off so that the water doesn't flow back into it. And then holding this up and keeping it away 
at least an inch away from any of the fittings. We're going to estimate about three quarters of an inch on both sides, three quarters of an inch in from each end. Doesn't have to be exact, but that's approximately what is good. So that's given us the two marks now in which to cut the condensate line. Now I'm just going to throw an old shirt or something down here in case something drips. Now I'm going to cut right on those lines where I've made a mark. One. And that's two. Now, we're going to install the tool. I'm just going to use a pipe glue running around the inside and connect to the one side. I'm going to make sure that the hose end is accessible where we're going to hook it up. We don't want to obviously turn it the other way around where we wouldn't be able to get the hose to it. And we're just going to do the other side. And that's it. We're done. Now, an optional step, of course, would be to get some electrical tape or duct tape or whatever you want to use and then you know fit the um, insulation neatly back against the pipe which I'm going to do right now and once again this is standard operation this valve is open and this valve is closed, okay, perpendicular to the fitting. You certainly don't want to, you want to make sure it's not closed because that will stop the drain line from being able to flow. So you only shut that off when you're flushing the line and then you open it back up normally. So now we're ready to go. You can turn the unit back on and everything. But since I just installed it, we're going to flush it out. Look at all that stuff coming out of there too. 